What's up, YouTube? Sip and chat. We have a few questions. Not as many as we normally go over, but we will be getting started in a few minutes. So hang in now. Don't leave. You ain't got a fast forward. <laughs> up what's up so coming next month the beginning of 2019 we got some new things stored we just gonna surprise y'all it's gonna get y'all that little bit to know that we got new things coming mm -hmm. soon Please subscribe to our channel if you are not and you are watching. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. What's up, what's up, what's up? So we're going to get started with the first question. For the question... For the question. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, this question is, do you believe in New Year's resolutions? Everybody say that when they get close to New Year's. Everybody say, my New Year's resolution, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. I think New Year's just a month away from anything that's been going on the month before. Period. I don't believe in it. Why not? Because it's like it never happened what people say they're going to do and things like that. It's just a wish. What if it do sometimes? To each his own. So you never had a New Year's resolution and tried to fulfill that remember. resolution? You know, every year everybody was like, I'm gonna lose weight. You sign up for the gym, you go like once a month. I don't think month. everybody be like, I'm gonna lose weight. Mostly everybody. I believe in New Year's resolutions. I don't make them, so I can't say I don't believe in them. But I do believe in them because I believe some people do make them and some people do fulfill them. We will never know. If it's a such thing, it's a such thing. I don't know. I believe in prayer. I don't believe in no New Year's resolution. Mm, mm, mm. So if anybody believe in New Year's resolutions, comment below. Hey, hey, hey. Subscribe to our page. What's up, YouTube viewers and Facebook as well? Join a discussion. This is our second question. If you missed it, I'm sorry. Watch the video. And if you feel like you want to comment on it, comment below. Why do some men ask women for money? I hate that. I don't know. I would feel less than a man to ask a woman for some money unless I really, really need it. And I know I'll do the same for that person. I was in Family Dollar the other night, and I walked up in there, <laughs> and I got in line, and this dude was in front of me, paying for his stuff with money in his pocket, and he was with another guy, asking him for $2, seeing me walk in the store, so I'm saying, what's up, baby girl, can I get $2? Because he don't want to break what he got in his pocket. How can you ask me for $2? You know what I think it is? I'm a big girl, and it's close to tax time. <laughs> He wants that tax money. He ain't gonna get my tax money, baby. Uh uh. But you know what? I'll mess around with you if I like you and still not give you my tax money. How about that? How about I found self employed? How about I ain't got no job? <laughs> How about that? But for real, but on some real stuff, I don't know why men ask women for money. Like them men that be standing outside begging for money, like outside the stores and all that. I hate to even get them money because I don't care what your situation is. You a man first. Mm. 
I don't know. I get people. You know, I pass out all my money to people that be standing outside and stuff like that and begging. Whether they are male or female. Whether they use the money for the wrong things or the right things. You know, I always. You never know. It's hard to get people money because you never know if they really need it or not. Yeah. You never, 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 never know. So, have you ever gave a man some money? Just to be given it to him? Period. Have you ever gave a man money? Yeah. Why? What you think about that? I don't think nothing of it. I just told you. I just told you. I get everybody money. Everybody money. <laughs> and if I see you need help, I... Here you go. Here you go. I just feel like it be my blessings. Y'all just don't know. So you not no sugar mama? Hey, uh, no. Not not at if, all. If you give a man money, do you think people... Do that mean you a sugar mama? It's depending on if you taking care of it. If you constantly giving guys money, then yeah. But if you just giving some, a guy some money to help them, then no. But... So take it, yeah, you're sugar on me if you're taking care of him. But what if you just in a relationship with him, not necessarily saying you're taking care of him and you give a guy some money, you're a sugar mama? No, because y'all should be doing 50 50 for each other if y'all in a relationship. I don't know about the giving men money. What do you all think? Why do men ask women for money? I can see if you married though. It's, uh, if you think about it the other way around, why do ladies ask me as one? There ain't no other way around. The man is the leader of the family. That's true. It's no other way around. I can see. Sometimes married, married people, <laughs> you know how sometimes you, you give somebody a loan or something like that mm -hmm. and you want your money back? You think that happened in marriages? Yes, it does all the time. I have witnessed it. How can you borrow from your I spouse, no though? I thought once you get married, that's one. You become one. If you give your husband some money or if you give your wife some money, then that's just what it is. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to move it along to the next question. Bell. I haven't rung the bell yet. <laughs> this not this night not gonna be too long because we don't have that many questions. We just wanted to cover a few things. Most of the questions be requested from the viewers. So it is what it is. Okay. Hey cousins. Hey. Let's go, go. I see. <laughs> Be nice, Coco. I see it as a blessing if he's a hardship. But he'll know if you choose to sit on your ass. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm just, well, I'm just saying, like, men who ask women for money, like, with no problem. They just don't want to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Just want something quick, like, want to smoke or want to do whatever, mm -hmm. want to go and grab something to eat. And then mm -hmm. they just like, let me hold something. You know what I'm saying? Like, responsibility-wise, not asking, just asking for their own want. For their own purpose. You write no such thing in borrowing in marriages, right? So if you borrow, like, what? How, how does that happen if you borrow in messages, like, in I mean, marriages. in marriages, how does that happen? Like, how can you borrow from your wife or how can you borrow from your husband? I, I thought that selfish. that was y'all money together. I think that's selfish and you only thinking about yourself in that situation or whatever. Because married people come as one. One a whole. I wish I would have a husband and get money from my husband and have to pay him back. It don't work like that. It does not work like that. So, what y'all think about that? What do y'all think about that? If you were in a marriage and you borrowed money from your spouse and had to pay it back, would you like that? Would you not like that? How does that go? How do how do you deal with that? How do you deal with that? I don't like that at all. Uh. You 
are one when you're married. Definitely one. You do not borrow money from your husband. You do not borrow money from your wife. Y'all money is y'all money together. Yeah. What's up, Tommy? What's up, Nelly? How we gonna owe each other when we owe these bills? Like, mm -hmm. really? Exactly. How y'all gonna owe each other like y'all living in two different houses with no responsibilities or something like that? That's crazy. You didn't get that? So you looked I, at me like... <laughs> I get it, but... I'm I mean, it's just... It don't make sense. So... Hello. So I was requested a question since I got a few ladies on here. What's up, King? So the question was, why do women stay with men who beat on them? Uh, that's mental. That's physical abuse, but also mental abuse. They can't get out mentally. Why do women stay with men who beat on them? Hey Tasha. Hey, hey. You said that's mental abuse, manipulation. I think it's mental abuse. Mental abuse don't allow them to get out. Physical abuse put the fear in them. I don't know why women stay with men who beat on them. I guess they feel like you love them. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, if you didn't do it, if you didn't hit them, you wouldn't care about the situation or whatever. Or I don't know why they feel like, you know what I'm saying, it's no way out. But if somebody lay a hand on me, they going to live to regret it. Wow. Nelly said it's mental abuse. I just seen something on Facebook where um, this girl boyfriend just killed her. In front of her three kids. And he was beating her at first. But she never left the relationship. And he kept her. Yeah, it's crazy because you be in a relationship for so long. Like, you have to get out of there. Because these men are killing these women. Like, right in front of their kids. Like, I don't know. I don't have the answer for that. Because I've never been in that situation. And I'm not going to be in that situation. This is one time that I can actually say never. I don't know why women stay. You end up dead. I just don't get it. It's like me. People are so crazy now. If you find yourself in any type of relationship that's abusive, you need to get out. You, need you to definitely need to get out. So, she's a little sick. She's talking a little low. She can't do this tonight. So, what we going to do, well, what I'm going to do is do this myself. I'm going to let her go to bed. Move it along. Get on up out of here. It's just going to be me talking to y'all tonight because she's under the weather. See you guys. Tasha says scared to leave. Yeah, I never understood that. Like, for what? why would you be scared to leave? You should be scared that you're getting beat. The fact that you're being beat. Like, why would you be scared to leave? I never understood that. They didn't get them people all their location. Them people know where they be at. next they scared. Tasha said... Hell to the no, it's a mental brainwashing. Yeah, I said it's manipulation. And then it's loneliness as well. I feel like it's loneliness. You know, nobody wants to be lonely. You know what I'm saying? So they figure they'll just say some women have to have a man regardless of the circumstances. It don't matter what the situation may be. Some women have to have a man. It's not that serious for me. I just heard about a woman telling another woman that a wife should take some beatings. Like, what what country is she from? Can't be from the United States. How can you tell another woman that some wife should take a beating? That's ignorant. That's real ignorant. Like, mm -hmm. don't get it. So I'm gonna move along to the next question. And I also think low self-esteem, though. I also think low self-esteem, that's probably why they stay scared. Low self-esteem, nowhere else to go, loneliness, all those reasons. I'm going to move it along to the next question, y'all. Let's see what we got up in here. Shake, shake, shake. Hey, yeah, that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Let me see. It's a psychological issue. It definitely is. 
It definitely is. Like, people need help. Like, go and get help. Especially with black people. You know what I'm saying? They always think if they talk to somebody else that they can work it out. You can't work it out just by talking to somebody you know or, you know, getting advice from somebody you know. Which that is cool or whatever. But we can also go and talk to people. We can use therapy. You know what I'm saying? We can use a therapist. Okay, color purple, Oprah like beta. <laughs> oh, Miss Seely talking about some beta. And only cowards hit me. Only cowards hit women. Would you want somebody beating your daughter is the question. For the guys that's doing the beating, would you want someone to beat your daughter? How can you not want a man to beat your daughter when you sitting up here doing it? It's okay for you to do it? Tell my auntie to join y'all tonight. No, ma'am, Tasha, she's not allowed to join us. Well, she actually can join us tonight because we being a little civil or whatever. We ain't really talking about no sexual issues or nothing like that. She can join us tonight. As a matter of fact, I am going to tell her to get on. She can get on tonight. Because I want to hear what she got to say. Let's see. Next question, y'all. Why is it that when a person... As a sad hustle, people automatically think you broke. I think it's good to have a sad hustle. I don't care how much money I make. I can make all the money in the world, and I'm going to keep me a sad hustle. More money. So she said, nowadays, most men are straight pussies. They rather hit a female and tuck. They tell what a man. Yeah, oh, my mom cannot join Tasha. She is sick. She real sick. I am got her locked down in the room by herself. I mean, she can't be around nobody. She real sick. That's the reason why Nunu's sick. Everybody's sick in the house. Hey, Fatima. So the question was, why is it that when people have a sad hustle, people automatically think they broke? That means you want more money. Absolutely. You can never get enough money. You can never get too much. I don't understand that. You can take something so small from somebody. Yeah, she real sick. I'm definitely not broke. You know what I'm saying? I just need a side hustle. I want more money. I don't find it an issue with that. That's just my thing. Like, you know, people be saying things because they mad. There's a lot of jealous people out here. There's a lot of people that want to see you down or whatever. I don't care what you think, what anybody think. If I find a way to make some more money, I'm definitely doing it. Never stop your money. So if anybody got anything they want to say to that last question, I'm going to move it along. I'm not going to be too long tonight, y'all. Doing this thing by myself. Just wanted to check in. Please share the video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. What's up, Drina? Because, like I said before, Facebook be tripping. And we will be going live from YouTube. Yes, they small-minded people. Very small-minded. I don't have time for a regular income. I just can't do it. A regular income is, it's cool if that's all you got, but it can also be depressing. Like sitting up with not enough money can also be depressing. And I ain't finna run myself crazy. I try to do, I ain't going to say anything, but I try to do what I can, you know, to make a little extra money or whatever. It's real depressing. Oh, hey, does I make a good money with extra helps? Yes, extra helps. It definitely helps. What's up, Orlando? For those of you who are just tuning in, the question before I move along was, why is it that when you have a side hustle, people automatically think that you are broke? I'm going to give y'all time to chime in on that question. Before I move it along, stop hating and get your bed. Secure your bed. Definitely won't be dipping in mine. Period. You can never have enough money. What's up, DeAndre? All right, y'all. I'm moving on to the next question. Next question. The next question. 
the next question. You know what I wanted to know? It's a lot of guys that watch the show that told me that they watch the show. The only problem they have with the show, they said it's really good or whatever, is the bonnets. Why no men like bonnets? What's wrong with the bonnets? That's what I want to know. I mean, we we indoors doing the show. It's not like we outside, you know what I'm saying, running around with the bonnets on or, you know what I'm saying, all in at work, you know what I'm saying, running around with bonnets on. It's part of the show. We're indoors. Why is it that men hate bonnets so much? I hate do-rags. <laughs> I definitely hate do-rags. Some bitches just out there. So some yeah, some chicks do do throw their ass in a circle on the side. Are <laughs> you gonna hate on that? <laughs> that ain't the type of hustle I want, cuz. I ain't looking for that type of hustle, but hey. Whatever else, I'm with it. I ain't throwing my ass in no circle. Mm -mm. Hey, cuz, I can't even answer that one. Motherfuckers hate to see people doing something different. And it, and it mainly be the ones that surround you. What's up, Frank Luke? It mainly be the ones around you and the ones that's closer to you. Stop hating and get on the team. Period. Let's see. What's up, Quita? So that was the question. We ain't going to spend too much time on the questions. Y'all just want y'all to jump in on what we talking about once y'all hit the live. And please like, share the video. The YouTube link is above in the caption. As soon as you hit it, it go right to the page. Please subscribe if you have not. We will be going live from YouTube. So the next question. The next question is, what is something that you can't live without? Something you can't live without. Bonnets are comfortable. They don't understand. They just don't understand. Like, why do your pants sag? <laughs> what do your pants? Why do your pants sag? They say bonnets are unattractive, but it's part of the show. We're not the only one to wear bonnets. But that question was, what is something that you cannot live without? I can't live without God. I can't live without me some Jesus. God is the reason for everything. If you pray and you pray right, they will be answered. Everything works out in your favor when you give the man above some time. So that's the one thing that I cannot live about. How about y'all? What's the one thing that you cannot live without my family that's true as well can't live without my family I can't live without God you know all the material things you want to look nice you want to be in love with material things or whatever that's all cool all fine and dandy or whatever but I can live without that my kids, God, weed, and money. <laughs> Wait, did you say weed? At least you being honest, though. Hey, Tania, what's the one thing you cannot live without? Please jump in. She said, my kids, weed, and money. It couldn't be one. Well, that's true. That's definitely true. I'm doing this thing by myself tonight, Tania. My partner is not feeling well. That's why I'm not going to be on here too long. My wine, I can't live without man either, Tasha. But I had somebody that asked me on here, do we get drunk every day? You know, I ain't even no drinker, but I will sip some wine. Can't live without my Stella Rosa as well. All y'all know what's going to be dope. I will tell y'all one thing we doing the first of the year. We're going to get a phone. We're going to give y'all the house number because we do not use the house number. And we're working from the house right now so people can call in and ask questions. Wouldn't that be dope, y'all? Thumbs up if y'all think that'll be dope. What's up, Gabby? So the last question was something that you cannot live without. T 
did those, I did those, I did those. It's called being relaxed. What's up, Chris? It's called being relaxed. I'm not even going to ask Chris what's the something that he can't live without because I think everybody on his Facebook page know what he cannot live without. What's up, Angel? You so disrespectful. You are so disrespectful. So, Chris, what's the one thing you can't live without before we move along? I'm going to let you think about that. Taisha said, hell yes, I want to do a live call. So if y'all want to do a live call, we're going to get the phone. We're going to answer and do callers live. Thumbs up. That's one vote right there. We're going to move it along to the next question. Why y'all giving me these thumbs? Instead of giving out y'all house number, just invite them to y'all lab. We do invite them to our lab, Drina, but the thing is, we do not use our phone. We got a number. We don't even have a phone. <laughs> so... That's why we said we're going to, you know, just use the um house phone or whatever. We don't even have a phone. We don't even use that. Everybody be on their cell phone. So, that's cool. What's up, Willie? So, we're going to move it along to the next question. Damn. Oh, I did that. That was already in there. Let me see. Let me see. Is it possible... Let me see. Is it possible for um, a person can be mad at their parents for the decision that they made for them as a kid? Is it possible you can be mad at your parents for the decisions that they made for you all as kids? Mmm. Wow. I think they. I think they did what they thought was best. They made those decisions because they thought that they were best for you. That was another question that was requested. I think it may be possible for you to be mad though. I don't know. That's just my opinion. What y'all think about that question? That was kind of hard. That was definitely a hard one because just being a kid depends on a decision. Okay. Because just being a kid, it's like, what can you do? So I got one that said, depends on the decision. So therefore, it is possible. What do the rest of you all think about that question? That was kind of deep. That was kind of deep. I had grapes. I didn't even put my grapes on the table, y'all. I want some grapes. Can't leave because my partner is ill. Nelly said no because of all because all that can change when you in control if your man right. Yep. That's true. She's sick, but she's still on live comments and from the bedroom. She say I could never be mad at my mother. Some people can though. That's a true statement for me too. I can never be mad at my mother. Andrea say, raising kids is a learning experience itself, so you can't be mad. Ugh. They are learning, and that's why they treat their grandkids different. Oh, my God, they get a grandkids the world. It's never a no with the grandkids. No guidebook on how to raise a child. It's no guidebook on how to raise a child. Tasha say, now that you are grown, make your own decisions and grow up and let it go. Absolutely. Let me see. DeAndre say, no, I mean, it depends, but no. When you are old enough to make shit better, you are in control. I agree. What's up, Robin? Also known as Kelly. Gabrielle said, I say, yes, I'm still mad at my mother in so many ways from things she allowed in my childhood. I mean, some people, some people do hold on to the hurt. It's a lot of things I've been mad at for a long time. A long, long time. So I agree with that too. What's up, Brandon? What's up, Sin? So that was the question. If y'all want to jump in before we move it along, 
The question was, is it possible for a person to be mad at their parents about the decisions that they made for them as a kid? Are you mad at your parents about anything? I need these grapes in the microwave. I can't eat cold grapes. What's up, Q? What's going on, y'all? Please share the video. Click the link above. It takes y'all right to the YouTube page. So I should say holding on to things don't allow you to grow. They don't allow you to grow. You try to, but sometimes you try to put it all behind you. And it won't let you leave. It won't let you forget. And then it's like, who to talk to? You don't want to talk to nobody that you know. You know what I'm saying? Try to work things out for yourself. It's hard to let things go, you know what I'm saying, when it comes down to the decisions that your parents made for you as a kid. Not saying you can't let it go or get over it, but it's really hard. What's up, Marquita? It's definitely a growing process. I had to put my grapes in the microwave, y'all. Am I the only one that does that? Okay, so we're going to move it along to the next question. We're not going to be all night. Y'all be said, and I agree with Tasha, but I have tried it. Let me see, but I have tried it, a fade away, but I feel until I let it out to her, I will never be okay working on that, though. Give it to God. Yes, give it to God. Yeah, Gabby, talk to her. Talk to her. Let her know. Make her understand. Make her understand. She owe it to you, you know what I'm saying? To sit down and listen and fix it. You got kids too. You got a kid as well. You got a kid that you raising. So, yeah. Robin said, yes. At least you working on it. At least you working on it from Tasha to Gabby. That's a good thing. And the, bad, the sooner the better, Gabby. The sooner the better. You never know what tomorrow we're going to bring. So we're going to move it along to the next question. After I eat this grape. Angel said they got mothers out here that took these babies from their daddy just because the daddy don't want them. I'm seeing it now. Oh, that's something to really be mad at. Because you're making it all about you. It's not about you. It's what's best for the kids. That definitely goes towards yesterday question. Marquita say, pray about it first. Ask God for strength, patience. And talk to her, Gabby. We team Gabby on here tonight. Everybody praying for you and trying to help you make it work. That's what's up. So we're going to move along to the next question. Ring my bell, ring my bell, ring my bell. They hate my bell, y'all, but I'm not giving up my bell. Please believe I will not give up the bell. Okay, why is it that if a woman has children by more than one man, the man that she is with at the time, she treats his kids better than the one that she doesn't have kids with? You know, that that's not his. My bad, y'all. Trying to eye uh, uh, that question. Yeah, but I will repeat it. The question is, why is it that if a woman has children by more than one man, the man who she is with at the time she treats his kids better than the one that does not belong to him? I hate it. I hate it. That is so weak. I hate women like that. You going to do your own kid in? For this man because this kid don't belong to this man. Because this kid make this man making it all about his kid. You forgot you had one before you got with him. Or however many. I can't allow a man to make a difference between my kids. It's not that serious to have one. But I know a lot of women that do that. I guess that's a question too. <laughs> Gabby said I don't know why. I want to know why though. I see it a lot. I see it a lot. That's ridiculous. 
I hate women that do that. Yeah, it's not that serious to be in a relationship. Like, you have to accept my kid as well, but know who you're dealing with first. That's the thing. Know who you're dealing with. She definitely a weak female. I can't answer that. I can honestly say I know anyone who does that. Is y'all in my head or something? What's up, Yama? I've always wanted to know that, Gabby. Q said, because she weak as hell. I hate stupid shit like that. I absolutely hate it. It's the worst. Because what you going to do when this man leave you? You know what I'm saying? Say y'all separate. What you going to do then? You still going to treat his kids better than the one that wasn't his? I hate it. So Aisha said she thinks she can buy him by going through his kids. However, a real man would look at how she treats her own and realize she ain't shit. Yeah, a real man. But right now she with that ain't shit man. She with that man that don't care about her kid. Gabby say when she end up alone, she going to treat all the kids bad as hell. Oh, I ain't even think that far. Marquita said, I don't have kids, but I can't stand it. I can't stand it either, Marquita. I hate it. It's like they need some type of praise on a certain level of respect for that man. That's some weak-minded shit, and you a weak-ass bitch for the bitches that do it. Q said, fuck that man, that N-I-G-G-A. Kids always come first. <laughs> they always come first on all levels. I hate that. I be want to fight people when I see that shit going on. But I know it don't have nothing to do with me. So we going to move it along to the next question, y'all. Share the video, please. We're not going to spend too much time on here tonight. Because I... Ooh, ooh, my video shut down for a minute. See what I'm saying, y'all? My video shut down for a minute, but it jumped right back on. That's why I said subscribe to the YouTube page. The link is above in the caption because I don't know what Facebook be on. It's always an issue with Facebook. Like, I done cut out the music and everything. I will be going live from YouTube, so please follow me over there, y'all. Next question. What are the strongest and weakest parts of your relationship? How can you make the weak part stronger? Wow. I'm not in a relationship. I don't have anything to say about that. So that's on y'all, baby. That's on y'all, baby. Hey, Ashley. I'm going to repeat the question again. You say I need you for that? Well, join in. Didn't mean to say I know you ain't mean to say it. That's why I didn't repeat it. But if that man leave her, she, yeah, she definitely going to harm them kids. Marquita said, talk about it. Communication. What's up, Ruski? So, for those of you who are just tuning in, the question was, what are the strongest and weakest parts of your relationship? How can you make the weak part stronger? Mm. So, if your relationship going down, basically, how can you boost it back up? How can you get it back to where it was before, where you wanted it to be? Can you admit that you have weaknesses in your relationships? That's a very hard question. I don't know. Maybe I can answer it if I was in a relationship, but I can't answer it. Not in one, and I won't ever be in one. Sounds hard, y'all. It sounds like a hard question. What do y'all think? Marquita said, talk about it. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ashley said, I'm single. I don't know. I don't know either, Ashley. You got to think real hard about this one. Reevacuating and communicating is very important. I mean, communication, yes, communication is very important. But it's a lot of times you can't communicate. When you try to communicate, it don't work. A lot of people don't want to hear their thoughts. So then what? Talking about I'm single, though. But you got all the answers. You got all the answers. Taisha so says, strong will be attentive to our weaknesses. It's spending time together as a couple. So we working on getting our groove back. Yes, Stella. Get it back. Get it back. Thanks for sharing the video. While you in the room, sick in your bed. Thanks for sharing the video, Tania. What happened? I was getting me a piece of chicken. <laughs> I walked away from the phone. Address the problem and work on the issue. Yeah, absolutely. So the question was, Angel, what are the strongest and weakest parts of your relationship? And how can you make the weak parts stronger? How can you make the weak parts stronger? Oh, great. Bye. So, I'm going to give you some time to think about that. And I'm going to move along to the next question. Yes, I love my bell. Thumbs up if y'all love my bell. I love it. I kind of want to go back to the guys that just jumped on here. I'm trying to figure out why y'all don't like bunnets. What's up, Darius? We got family on here. Shout out to your brother. Okay, so the next question is, if you can go back to your childhood, if you can go back to your childhood, what advice would you like to have from your adult self? So basically, as so basically as a kid, you want advice or whatever. So what advice would you want from your adult self since you know you better than anybody? So if you can go back to your childhood, what advice would you like to have from your adult self? Think about that, y'all. I really want to hear y'all y'all answers. Taisha said it's not that easy to recognize the weak, but it surely exists in all relationships. Yes, it does. Gabrielle said communicating when we don't agree on something is our weakness. Yes, I agree. We just apologize, but we still be sick, bothered by it. We working on that, though. That's cool. Stack and save. <laughs> yep. That's the one right there, Q. Stack and save. Yes. You know, when we kids, we just want to spend, 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 spend. We know now having kids, having responsibility, having bills and all that. Yes. Stack and save. That's the best advice your adult self can give your childhood self. Yes. I love that one. Say no to sex and get money. <laughs> Well, you can't say no to sex because got my nephew. Right. Let's see. Actually say keep um good credit. Hello. My credit was like at seven something. Put that student loan on there. I hate Canela. Let's see. Stack, stack, stack. Stay your ass focused on the medical field. Yep. Learn the budget. Watch who you have sex with. That is so funny, but true. Make sure you keep $40 to the side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would have never got a perm. I swear to God, Tasha. I would have never got a perm. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That killed me. Oh, Lord Jesus. I would have never got a perm. She said, Marquita said, I agree. I wouldn't have never got a perm. Man, I wouldn't have got a perm. If I know what I know now, 
Man, I haven't had one in almost a year. Y'all know I got that good, good hair anyway. I don't need them. I just be getting them just because. So, I'm back to being team natural, y'all. Oh, I want my hair back. Mm -mm, that hurts the soul. Talking about a relaxer. All right, y'all. Go to college. That would be the advice, my advice to myself. You know what I'm saying? I did everything that other people wanted me to do, you know, including my own parent. I should have just did what I set out to do at the time. I wanted to do it instead of waiting. I want not be in the situations that I am in now. Let's see. Do not argue with your mother. Yeah, because you don't want to hear the truth. And because you only get one. Period. I agree. I was three years until last month. I lost myself on that one. I'm not even going to lie, Gabby. I got to agree. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The relaxer, right. <laughs> right. I would have never moved out of my mama's house. I don't know about that one. I can see that when it comes down to the bills, though. What the fuck, your sis? She ran out of bonnets. What, she ran to Walgreens coming from Darius? <laughs> no, she didn't run out of bonnets. She's sick. She's just a sick one. Like that. So, I'm on here by myself tonight. Tasha saying a parent, right? I'm on here by myself tonight because she's sick. People requested um questions, and I didn't want to leave y'all hanging because y'all been rocking with me. So we rocking and rolling. And while you making jokes, click on that link above that will shoot you right to our YouTube page and subscribe because we will be going live from YouTube because Facebook is not agreeing with us. Okay, so we're gonna move it along to the next question. I'm so glad my big cousin on here because I never thought that I could be getting advice from her. I miss both of y'all together. Feel better? No, no. <laughs> yeah, and she gonna have to do it when I'm down too. You know what I'm saying? That's partnership. Okay, so name a quality you want your friend to have or your friends to have? What quality do you want a friend to have? Um, I don't have any friends. But the one thing that I would want them to have is loyalty. I could say that. Or honesty, you know what I'm saying? That's why I don't have any because I never ran across that. So that would be one or two qualities that I would want my friends to have. What about you all? I'm going to eat a grape while y'all thinking about that. Honesty. Mm-hmm. Just be real. Be loyal. Mm-hmm. Yep, loyalty. I don't even believe in it. Everybody scream loyalty with all these posts. Tell me something about good credit integrity. I hear that, Marquita. So I said, yes, Coco, you're doing a good job. So I don't hope you feel better because that's what sisters do. Yes, girl. Damn, I don't got no friends. I agree with you, Angel. <laughs> Respect. Because sometimes you can be too much for people. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants you to keep it real with them, but they can't take it. You know, I don't try to be disrespectful with my mouthpiece. I just tell it like it is and I just can't hold back my advice or you know what I'm saying what I feel or what I think or whatever so I guess that's why I ain't got no friends but hey I can't change who I am because you and your feelings what's up Nino credit is better than money Tommy <laughs> yeah big facts big facts big facts big facts Mm -hmm. yeah so I don't have any so I can't really give you too many qualities that I would want in a friend I got people I associate with I just want honesty though my mama always told me no such thing when it comes to so called friends my fucking family are my friends I've always been told that too but sometimes they your family can get a little look we all human just put it like that 
You got me. It's all you need. True. Let's see. Gabby said, my friends got to be strong-minded and blunt. Because I'm blunt. And I can't have no weak-ass friends. You see who my best friend is? Your best friend off the chain, baby. She always been like that. Ain't no change. Now. Tasha's talking about a fine-ass brother. <laughs> that's one quality she'll want her friend to have is a fine-ass brother. I know that's right, but if your friend did have a fine-ass brother, I'm pretty sure all your other friends had his fine-ass, too. Unless they ugly. But you know, you the finest cuz, so you will get them first. <laughs> Cuba said, strong-minded to build a business. Yes, but is that is that okay, though? Is it okay to build a business with a friend all the time? No, I don't know if you want to do that. That don't seem to work too well in most cases, especially with black people. I love my black people, but building a business with a friend? That's a no-go. That is a no-go. You're welcome. That's true. Let's see. Oh, no. I wanted a stick. I wanted these on a stick. Okay. You can. Let me see. You can't even live with a friend. That's true. You can't even live with your friend. The minute you move in, give it almost a week. Let me see. If you trust them and you got the same ambition, right. Goals and aspiration. It depends on the person. Yeah. You got to be solid. I guess you got to be solid to get all that back in return. I guess. I don't know. I'm as solid as they come and I don't get none of that in return. Okay, y'all, so we're going to move it along. Solid as a rock, baby. Next question. What's your biggest regret? Whew, my biggest regret is, I would say... Hmm... Doing what other people want me to do and not what I want to do. Not following my first man would be my biggest regret. Because I'm not the type to take people's thoughts into consideration. But, yeah, that would be my biggest regret. Let me see. Angel said, you don't know who your damn friend. So they put you in a situation. They go to show you they really your friend. Nothing matters but the heart, but their heart. That's true. When you get up in that situation, let me tell you something. That's how you know who your real friends are. I had one for a long time. And let me tell you something. It takes that one person to come in, that new friend, or that boyfriend, that girlfriend, or whoever, to ruin the whole situation. I had one for a long time, and it took one person to ruin that. And the fact that she let somebody come in, that let me know how real she was. I agree, Angel. You serious with that bill? I love it. Yes, I'm serious with my bill. Thank you. Not finishing school. I stopped going to church. Having a baby by a bum. You so silly. Got me talking about having a baby by a bum. I love my son, though. Not finishing school. Yeah, but I mean, y'all still got that opportunity. Even me, I done got to the point now. I ain't going to say I feel like I'm too old for school, but I don't like school no more. Is that bad to say or whatever? I got to have patience to go back to school. Tasha so say not making my children go to church when they were younger. Yeah. We went to church a lot when we was younger or whatever, but I don't go as much. Now I go every blue moon. I don't know. I just feel like when God ready for you to be in church, then he'll bring you there. I wish I was in church for all the, for the craziest reasons, though. You know what I'm saying? I want to get closer to God. I want to, you know what I'm saying, learn how to interpret the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Like that. I want to be up in the choir. All that. So, I don't know. You go when God send you. 
I don't want to be laying there. I don't want my next time to go to church as me laying in a box. Yeah. So we're going to move it along to the next question. I don't like school either. I don't have patience. Yeah, it's over with for me, Gabby. I done been through it. I done went back to school so many times. Like, I, I just can't do it anymore. But kudos to whoever want to go back. I don't feel that it's a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? I support it or whatever. But I, I'm, I'm just tired of school right now. It's not a bad thing. Don't get me wrong. Well, somebody else. I go every blue moon. Yeah, I go every blue moon as well. Yep. Okay, so. Did I ring my bell? I'm not sure, but... If I didn't. Okay, so the next question is, how do you and your spouse handle disagreements? We kind of talked about that a little bit in the other questions. Everybody just said communicating. So. <laughs> how many times should you have sex with your partner in one day? Okay, so you have morning... You have noon. Wait, well, you have morning. You have evening. You have noon. You have night. So about four to five. Four to five. There you go, Q. How many times should you have sex with your partner in one day? About four or five times. I'm going to chew on this grape while y'all think about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Marquita said three to five, girl. You a freak. That's what's up, though. As many times as y'all want to. Jackie said four to five. Yeah, they say it's good for the heart. It's good for the health. They say if you do it a whole lot of times, you live longer. What's up, Roxanne? So that was the question. How many times should you have sex with your partner in one day? Q said every time I stand up. Well, I hope you ain't never sitting down. Gabby said, you ain't got no job if you're doing it that much a day. I say three times. I mean, you can come home, lunch break. <laughs> Angel said, until you can't do it no more. Oh, my God. Tasha said, as much as he wants. Yes, I guess that's how you keep him happy. You having fun and keeping him happy at the same time. As much as he wants. True, true, true. True to all y'all. True, true, true. You live longer, I'm telling you. Marquita talking about off days. Maybe twice. What I said, said maybe twice. Hmm. Twice a day. Two times a day. Why you say two times a day, Roxanne? Marquita said push for the five. Hello, Robin say lunch. Lunch breaks out of bed, so... <laughs> Robin be wait, Kelly be getting them little quickies doing lunch break. Tasha said, yes, it should be cracking, but sis, I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm getting old to go too many times. Because we were like energized bunnies back in the day. Man, you ain't getting too old. You just working hard. Just relax. <laughs> Take some vitamins and you can get back right, cuz. Let me see what Gabby's saying. I'm not, I'm not. Just get me in the mood for work when I come home and before we go to bed. Off days can be all day. Okay, okay, cool, cool. So I'm saying because I be tired from work and my nigga old. <laughs> I be tired from work and my guy old. I mean, well, cool if y'all happy. <laughs> So he said, I tried to have sex all day. What you mean tried? It didn't work? Right before work when you're running late. I don't drive. Ain't no lunch break. So see you later. Let me see. Yes, quickies are the best. True shit. Don't use it. Lose it. <laughs> we finna move along to the next question, y'all. But I agree, though. As many, as much as he wants it. I think I can do it all day, y'all. Let me see. Next question. 
Should a woman work past 10 o'clock? Work hours? Should your work hours be past 10 o'clock? Y'all remember the game, mask off, mask on, right? So, as many times as he want. I agree with that. I agree with that. I'm surprised my nose kind of fit in this. Hit the bell, baby. Ringing that bell, Q. What's up, Troslin? So what y'all think? Should a woman work past 10 p.m.? Is that too late for a woman to be working and coming in after 10? What y'all think? What do y'all think? I think if you get off at 10, it's cool. But now you have women that's RNs and all that. So, I mean, that's cool. Do your shift. Do your thing. Secure your bed. Get your money. Q said no. Yeah, thank you. My is watching. She's sick, but she watching. Hell no. I got to do what I got to do. I do sometimes. It all depends on the job. Yeah, that's what I said. Sometimes you have RNs, you know, LPN, CNA, or whatever that work all type of nights or whatever. So, I mean, women got the worst hours, actually. Well, you have male nurses as well. So, yeah, I mean, do what you got to do. It depends on the job. I agree. So, y'all, um, I didn't want to stay on here too long because my sister was sick. Work, work until the shift is over. I'm down to one more question. So, if anyone have any questions or anything y'all want to talk about, start typing for me, please. Type, 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 type. Let's talk about what y'all want to talk about because my questions are almost gone. So while y'all typing them questions, I'm going to ring my bell one more time and chew on another grape. Mm-hmm. Mark, you say you got to be aware of your surroundings. You definitely have to be aware of your surroundings. You definitely do. I agree. You gotta be saying I'm not working past six just because I need time to spend with my son. Yes. But if I had was working the career path I wanted, I would and I'll work around the shelf. But for now, no. I'm trying not to go, Taisha. I don't have any more questions. I'm down to my last question. My partner in crime is gone. That's why I'm saying if y'all got anything that y'all want to talk about, y'all want to throw in there, let's hear it. Wow. So I just got a question requested. Let me ring my bell because that's what I do when I get a question. Should you go to your man job and give him oral? Whoa. At his workplace? What's up, Shantae? What's up, Jean? So that was the question. Should you go to your man job and give him oral on his break? That's so nasty. Mm-hmm. And we said park in the parking lot. <laughs> hell no. Why you say hell no? I ain't say in the car. I ain't say why not. Know your worth. Keep it fun and spontaneous and all that. Make it do what it do. Keep them happy, hell. At least he got a job, hell. You know you're going to get a cut. What's up, Melody? I'm not going. Better wait till you get home. If you don't get your old ass out of here, you better go. Be spontaneous, right? If you don't go up to that job, I guarantee you somebody going to beat you up there. Tasha said he going to have to give up his whole check for that. <laughs> Why do people put all their business on social media? I talked about that before. I don't understand that. Like, why you put all your business on social media and then when somebody come in on your status and ask you what's going on, you got an attitude and act like you don't want to tell them. But you the fool that put it up there. 
Oh my God, Marquita says sucking that Cajun eggplant. And bring him lunch too. Gabby said a whole check. Ciara said if that's what they do to spike up their relationship, go ahead. Facts. He gonna get, Tommy say he gonna get fired. He gonna get fired because he will not be no good. What's up, cuz? I'm eating grapes. I'm eating on these grapes. Should I say something about I'll do it for a whole check? Depends on where he work. What if it's in the damn sewer? You so silly talking about what if it's in the sewer. Then you would be a wreck for real if you do it in the sewer. So yeah, Taish, I don't understand why people do that either. You put the shit on Facebook for people to see and then don't want to talk about it. Why are you putting all your business on here? I mean, it's just stupid and it makes you look stupid. Cause send me a request and let me see if I can add you this time. So that was the question. Should you go to your man's job and give him oral sex? Yeah, we talking about for real, for real. Stuart Little, yes, you a whole rat if you trying to do it in the sewer. Let's see. I appreciate y'all for rocking like this. Please share the video. Click the link above and subscribe to the channel so y'all can go over to YouTube with us. People do what for help? What do people do for help? Oh, yeah, some people do. Yeah, they put it on there for help, but you ain't getting the right type of help putting it on Facebook. Yeah, people do it for attention. Cause say why not? I mean, what if he the boss though? You know what I'm saying? What if he the boss? He running that joint. Basically, if it's a nasty job, no. Some people gotta wash up. Then he busts a nut. How he gonna work after that? <laughs> That's why he gotta own that joint. He gotta have an office, a bathroom in that office. Bring some of them feminine wipes. Mm -hmm. Next question. <laughs> this is the last question, y'all. So talk to me. Continue to talk to me and I will continue to talk to you all. Has your last relationship experience affected your adult life? So the last relationship that you've been in, has that affected your adult life? A that's will do. You can wipe that joint off with a Lysol wipe. You got to get them cleaning products for them and keep them on deck. Okay, so that was the last question. I want to hear those answers about that question. If he the boss, my head bobbing under the desk. <laughs> I'll tell you something about my head bobbing under the dust. Cuzzo said, yes, made me a better man. I know that's right. That's what's up. Yeah, I think every time that I am in a relationship, once I get through dealing with somebody, it makes me better. All the time. You know what I'm saying? All the time. So that was the question. Has your last relationship experience affected your adult life in a good or bad way? What y'all think about that? Made me want to better myself. I feel like I'm getting sick now, y'all. Gabby said, yep. Yeah, because I, I mean, I, I'm going to always do better. Yep, yep, yep. So I said, hell, I don't know. I'm still with the first since 14 years old. Kava had with his ashy ass. <laughs> But you should know, like, you know, being in that 19-year relationship, has that affected your life? I'm pretty sure it has. Marquita said, yes, it made me learn to love myself and accept me for me. Yes, yes, absolutely. I absolutely agree with you. 
Why do women care more about being a loyal woman to a man before being a loyal mother to her kids? Hello? You care about being more loyal to this man than you do your own kids. I'm starting to think that shit is a trend. Monkey see, monkey do. One chick doing what the next chick do. That will never be a man over my kids. Q said, yeah, top means to have better respect for women. Wow. That's what's up. Got some good men on here. I got some good men on my page, y'all. Period. All right, so let's see, let's see, let's see. I love that question. Yes, honey. They slow. We talked about that. So weak minded as hell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've been talking about that. So I got another question, y'all. I thought that was my last one, but I definitely have another one. I'm gonna ask where my phone at. I want to put on a little music. I want to put on a little music, y'all, to see if they was gonna let me post it with a little music. But I think I better not. All right. Let's see. Okay, so if you want to say you're a grown woman and you have kids and you want your kid's father to move in with you, mind you, you're a grown-ass woman. Should you need an okay from your mother? No. Absolutely not. Let me chew on this grape while y'all think about that. Mm-hmm. Where? What y'all think? I've been in the same relationship for 17 years. That's what's up. Wow. I can't stay in a relationship for 17 minutes. But what y'all think about that? I don't get it. If you're still living with your mama, question. Because that sound like you ain't left the nest yet. That's crazy as hell. Your mama lived her life. Your mama did what she wanted to do. I'm pretty sure she ain't asked nobody. You got your own house. You got kids. You want your kid's father to move in with you. What do you need an okay from your mother for? What is wrong with you? Mama's going to always voice their opinion. Even when you old and don't want to hear it. Yeah, but if, if I got my own house and I'm paying my own bills, these are my kids and my kid's father, and I want to be with him, mind you, this is my house. Why do I need an okay from my mama with whom I want to live with me in my house that I pay the bills for? You will never grow. Your man going to be stuck forever. Baby girl, you need to grow up. Let's see. Right, voice and opinion, but you can't tell me who can and cannot stay with me exactly in your own house. What's up, Shay? Coco, your crazy self. This is my longest one out of three. Well, what you doing different, Gabby? Quita said that's your decision. They can't have opinions, but they can't make decisions. But the thing is, this, this this question is basically saying like, okay, do you need the okay? It's like you trying to ask your mom, can your kid's father live with you in your house? Are you crazy? If you live your life like that, you're going to forever be stuck. I understand you only get one mother. I understand you only live one life. But if you live your life a grown-ass woman, by what your mama think and what your mama say, you're never going to persevere. Never. Got to keep going, baby. 
don't need that validation. You grown. Make your own mistake. Live your life. You ain't making no mistakes. If it's a mistake, you ain't living your life. You ain't learning nothing. If you don't go out there and do what it is you need to do. You just doing whatever your mama needs to do. Like why that you wasting your life? And what are you teaching your kids? Let me see. So I said, why would you even ask? Of, and you pay your own bills. No, I agree. Why do you need validation from your mother? That's the no for me. Your mom gonna make you miss some good dick. I'm telling you. <laughs> she gonna make you miss. I bet she got hers. I'm telling you. I'm trying to tell you. Sierra said that just means she gonna run her house in hers. Might as well move back in with her. Exactly, Tiara. You paying rent for no reason. If you're gonna allow your mother to run your house, put that money back in your pocket and move your ass back home. Angel said, ask what? Y'all, I walked away to pee. <laughs> You steady walking away, Angel. First, you had to go and get some chicken. Then, you had to pee. Like, come on now. Okay, so the question was, if you got your own place, you got kids by this guy whatever, you want your kid's father to move in with you, should you have to get an okay from your mother? Mind you, it's your house. That's like, do you got to ask your mama, can, this, can your guy move in with you? What? You pay the bills there. Like everybody's saying, your mom gonna voice her opinion always or whatever, but I don't need you to tell me who can and cannot move in my house. Marquita said, Nelvin, you will always be miserable. You will always be miserable. And these be the main people trying to throw out advice. You will never have a stable relationship with anyone. And they definitely not sticking around. Right. Your ass is gonna be lonely and horny. Period. What's up, Shanae? Let the hurt go and keep an open mind. Yes, honey. Who y'all at? Who y'all know as they mama? <laughs> Anything, right? You might as well move back home. You giving away money for nothing. Come on now, honey. Lonely and horny. Facts. Big facts. Your ass gonna be lonely and horny. Waiting on your mama. Please share the video, y'all. So, anybody got any more questions? Shay says, shit, when you grown, you get your own. I got my own now. Right. Just like me. I got my own crib. What I look like asking my mama, can I take somebody home with me? Mm -mm. That mama bogus as hell for making you feel that way, though. Like, run your own life. You raise your kids as they kids, but once they get grown and go out there and do their own things, let them do their own things. Like, you cannot still run my life and I'm a grown woman. You mad and miserable. Find you something. Gonna do you a dick, mama. Them folks, mama be having a room in their house. Oh, yeah. My mom don't even like coming to my house. I gotta beg her sometimes to come to my house. She'll tell me, no, I don't want to go to your house. I ain't going down there. She will not go. That's just fine with me. So, for whoever that may have been for, that's the answer right there. Any questions, y'all? I'm all out of questions. I'm all out of questions. But if y'all still want to talk, still want to bang with me, I'm trying to bang with y'all. Let me see. When is a good age to talk about sex with your daughter nowadays? 12. Definitely 12. 
right now. What's up, Yolanda? Right now. You should be talking to your daughter about sex right now. And make sure she get it from you and nobody else. That's what's really important. Make sure everything that she know is from you and nobody else. Yolanda said, nah, damn. <laughs> nah. Yeah, 12 right now. Angel said that your mama asked, could your ugly ass daddy stay with her? <laughs> right. Yeah, everybody's saying 12. I say 12 because that's the year right before you become a teenager or whatever. And kids wow at 12. Whenever you feel it's ready. Yeah, what well, Coco said, cool. Yes, right now I'm telling you because they're going to get out here and learn all the wrong shit from somebody else. Somebody say 10 and keep it real with them. At that age, you got to talk to your kid like they're an adult. You know what I'm saying? But know what to say and what not to say. Like, keep it 100 with them. I don't sugarcoat shit with my niece. I don't care what nobody say. For real. Yeah. So do it right now. Don't let nobody else teach them. Oh, and for a boy, somebody told me girls 12 and for a boy 7. Wow, why so young for a boy? Yeah, some people start their period at 9. Thank God I wasn't at 1. Taisha so said, my oldest got two friends that's pregnant at 14. She don't need to be friends with them. Them do not need to be her friend. She do not need to hang around them. They doing way too much. They say you are who you hang with. I never believe that term, but in some cases that's true. But she needs to stay away from them. Those are not her friends. Uh-uh. Move her around now. Sierra said, I believe, I believe nine. Because these days boys are more sexually active than girls at a young age. Depends on their household. True. Okay, them boys, yes, they be ready early. What the hell happened to my camera? Let's see. Oh, there we go. My bad, y'all. <laughs> what Marquis to say? And that's when they start getting super curious. And the age is for crucial kids. They really starting to come into their own. Hell no. Stay away from my baby. Exactly. Yep, I agree. I push their fast asses away. Yeah, get, get their ass out of here. For real. Shut up, Coco. They can teach her a lesson. <laughs> if she ain't already, I'm just saying. Gone have hell. With them babies. Yeah, but I'm just saying. I'm serious, shit. She don't need to be around that shit. She a kid. You know what I'm saying? They kids. Get they goofy ass out of here. There's going to be a lot of things that they can't do that still open up. So, you know what I'm saying? Her to do or whatever. No. Get your ass out of here. So, you should be teaching your kids about sex at the age 12 if they got young pregnant friends. Move their ass around. What is going on in their house? Absolutely. What's going on in their house? You just want better for your kids. A lot of people that had kids at 14, 15, 16, you know what I'm saying? Not judging, but you just want your kids to, to go a little bit longer, a little bit further than you did or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You just want them to get through college, you know, or a little college or something like that. Anybody have any questions? These grapes fast. It's up to you what you teach your kids. They are going to do things you don't agree with. Just let them know. Yeah, you can just let them know. They're going to make their own mistakes. You want them to be better than you. Some parents don't give a fuck about the future of their kids. And they whack and weak as hell. They whack and weak as hell. Let me see. Gabby, but for real, so glad I ain't got a daughter of my own. But I pray this girl don't be like her mama. I'm trying to teach her different. And she won't be. 
She won't be because she got somebody, you know what I'm saying, that's strong-minded, been through shit, you know what I'm saying, know what to teach her, what not to teach her, somebody that's better than her mother. She will not be like her mother. It started from the mothers, not giving a fuck. It be only about that guy. Yeah. I don't know in every situation, you know, when you have a baby early, is it that your mother don't care? I don't know. I don't know if I can agree with that. I don't just give it a God. Questions. Anybody have any questions? I don't want to end my live. We having good conversation. Okay. Yolanda said, how, you, how do you deal with people with low self-esteem? And how can you help them with that? I mean, just, just, just tell them to, you know what I'm saying, pray. Tell them to talk to God, upli uplift their spirits. You know what I'm saying? Just be there for them. Be a good friend. You know what I'm saying? Just, that's all you can do. Be nice. Be real. Don't be too harsh when you know people going through things. You know what I'm saying? Just try to uplift them. Keep their spirits high. Treat them the way you will want to be treated. Let them know that they love. You love them. You know what I'm saying? God loves you. So, hang. Uplift them. Yes. Some parents just let their kids raise themselves. Let me see. No, because you can't have these conversations. Kids are curious, especially these days when they friend doing it now. Talk to them about it. Let me see. Stop dealing with them. Tell them yes, they look nice. Encourage them. Yeah, tell them they look nice. Encourage them. Uplift them. Pray for them. Help them to see the beauty in themselves. Hey, Shavaka. Help them see the beauty in themselves. Yeah, let them know not to worry about shit. That's the thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some people be so weak, man. They even at dose. You know what I'm saying? Stop worrying about what the next person got to say. I'm telling you, that mouth is a weapon. Stop giving a fuck about what people got to say. Shit. Should nobody have left low self-esteem? Roxanne said, tell them all the good qualities they have. I would say, no, don't be their friend. There's another problem. Just let them know that they can always talk to you. Because no matter what, if they want to do it, they're going to do it. They will. That's what these daddies need to fall in line. Yes. These daddies ain't shit. These girls be looking for love and validation in all the wrong places. And it definitely come from the father. That's how these guys are so um, so good at getting in these girls mad. Because they don't have that from their father. You know what I'm saying? They don't have that from their men telling them what guys looking for. You know what I'm saying? What to look out for. That's how they mind get manipulated. Big facts. True, 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 true. True, 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 true. Yeah, so that's just what it is. I think they starting to get me sick, y'all. You doing great, cuz. 318 comments. Subscribe. People engaged. And informative convos. Thank you so much. Thank y'all. Giving them the attention. They didn't get from their father, period. I'm glad my granny told me about that. Yes. Yes. But you know what? Man. I guess sometimes you got to put your life out there even when you don't want to share too much or whatever. But uh, I'm not going to say I ain't have mine. You know what I'm saying? At some point, like I did and I didn't, but... I was just blessed to have a strong man. Because even though at the times I need a man around, just say for instance, if he was in and out at that time that he wasn't in or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I still ain't let nobody get me. I still knew right from wrong. 
giving them the attention. They don't give them their father. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Q said there's some good fathers out here. We all ain't dead beasts. That's true. I agree with that. A mother is to teach her daughter how to respect herself. A father is to show her by showing her how to treat her mother the same with sons. Yeah. The same with sons. These fathers, you know what I'm saying? Hey, they been kids. They know what's they know. They know what's out there. They gotta warn their babies. I'm telling you, growing up, you know what I'm saying, being a little girl, they say your father is your first love or whatever. So with that being said, let me see. Gabby said no, and y'all daughters ain't the ones running around loose. Nor will they grow up to make mistakes happen. Let me see. My bad. Yeah, but they grow up with a different mindset when they have their father around. Yes, your father is your first love. I'm telling you, as a kid, when you lose that as a kid, that's what you messed up at. And you're going to forever be messed up. That's something that you can't get back. My girls know about all the shit that go on. That's good. That's how it's supposed to be. You got to let them know. You can't sugarcoat. You can't be like, oh, they some kids. They ain't worried about that or whatever. Shit, you got to think about your life at that age. I'm going to keep it real with my niece and nephew. My niece 12 years old. She'll be in high school soon. I ain't sugarcoat nothing. And she's smart as hell anyway. So, anybody have any more comments? I think I'm going to go live from you. I mean, questions or comments. I think I'm going to go live from YouTube tomorrow, y'all, to try it out. So, click the link above. We got a lot of new stuff coming up beginning of the year, y'all. I swear, it's going to be dope. We got the little phone line coming. We doing call-ins, live call-ins, y'all. I can't wait for that. So call in. It's going down the beginning of the year. So anybody have anything they want to add to the conversation before I go night-night? Let me see. I'm just seeing... Who grow up with a good man in their life. Whew, father, self, father, uncle, etc. Grow up knowing their worth. Yep. What's up, Phil? Grow up knowing their worth. Mm-hmm. True, true, true. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Appreciate it. Tyson, so please, I'm tired of using Tammy phone. Yeah, we're going to get that call in, y'all. We're going to get that call in. I just can't believe my mom was in the store the other day, and one of my friends was talking to her about the show. You know what I'm saying? Saying that they like it. It's good for us to keep up the good work. And some girl walked past and heard that and said, those your daughters? And gave my mama a whole question like, Wow. We definitely got to keep this going. My sister's sick right now. Like I said, just because one's sick ain't going to stop nothing. It's going to be time she's going to have to take over for me. But we're going to stick together. We're going to stick it out. We're going to stick it out. T-shirts and all, y'all. Let's see. And stop calling these women bitches, y'all. Queens. This is only the beginning, yes. This is only the beginning. Yeah, I don't like that. That bitch. I don't like bitch and I don't like N-I-G-G-A. I hate those words. Yep. You right, Marquita. That's what it's going to be. T-shirt, bonnets, call-ins, all that. We're going to keep this going. Anybody have anything that they want to add? What y'all think about the call-in, though? Thumbs up if y'all with the call-in. Thumbs up. That's the only word I can't forget. Sorry. <laughs> Work on it. 
I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. So please share the video. Y'all catch us on YouTube tomorrow. Catch us on YouTube live tomorrow. Subscribe to the channel. The link is above. Well, we got another, so why are we going to say that one? Tommy said, why do women get mad when a man call her a bitch, but a woman can? Tommy said, Because it's different. You know what I'm saying? It's different. When y'all saying it, y'all saying it in a rough way. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all saying it like y'all don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, y'all saying it real rough, man. That bitch this, that bitch that, or whatever. When we saying bitch to our friends, we're meaning it in a good way. Like, you know, that's my bitch. That's my girl. It's all love. But coming from y'all is disrespectful. What's up, Ron? It's a different meaning. With a woman and a man, it's a different meaning. Y'all can't use it. Y'all ain't using it right. That's why we get mad at y'all. I don't know. I don't get mad. I have males I talk to like that. I don't have no guys I talk to like that. Nobody but Chris. Everybody know he ignorant. Can't stop him from saying it. Let me see. Marquita said, Marquita said, right, men say it, being disrespectful, but women and their friends, it's a term of endearment. Yep. But if you use it, it's wrong. I'm going in. If you use it wrong, I'm going in. Completely in and not coming out. Let me see what she say. Why do men love thoughts and got a wife at home? Hello. 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 Why do men love thoughts and have a whole wife at home? Let me chew on a grape while y'all thinking about that. Coming from men, it's disrespectful. Coming from our friends, it's our girl. Same way when your bros call y'all the N-I-G-G-A word. And when a white person say it, y'all ready to fight. Same thing. The exact same thing. But ask the Shay question. Why do men love thoughts when they have a whole wife at home? Same thing, Taisha, I agree. I'm going to just chew on this grape like people sip their tea. Because I won't know the answer to that. Mm-hmm. Damn. Damn, I look good and juicy. Same way, y'all read that. Depends on the white person. Some is racist and some of them be they boys. I mean, even if you are my boy, you still can't say it. Can't no white person say it to me. That's a no-go. If you want to remain, if you my boy, you white, my girl or whatever, and you want to remain cool, you can't use that word with me. Man, this shit getting all in my braces. I'm finna have to floss when I get off of here. Let me see if I have another question. He said, I don't know. Okay, that's honest here. I don't know. You know a good man when you see him. <laughs> but they not getting it from the wife. They not getting what? We talked about that the other day. Sad chicks' thoughts be more more on your side. They be more down for you than your wife. But you just gotta uh shit. You gotta pick the right wife. I don't understand that. I never understood that. They want their cake and eat it too. Cause I can be a freak for you all day if you on your shit. Exactly. You very late, Donna. White people are off limits with the N word. No expectations. I'm trying to tell you. No exceptions. Use it. I don't care, hell. Because I'll call you a cracker quick. And my son will call you a red person. 
thoughts are doing more than a wife. You the second person that said that, Shantae. So give me an example. What are they doing more than a wife? Let me see. Q said whatever makes them want to step out and cheat. Okay. Save your wife the humiliation and disrespect and just leave. Period. Just leave. That's crazy. Damn, like, can you wife be a sad chick? You want me to be a sad chick? I dress like a wife during the day. At night, I switch it up. I sass it up. I'll be a sad chick at night. Will that help? Let me see. Next question. Why do women... Let me put their hands on them. Wait. Let me put their hands on them and don't mind. Why do women... Let me their hands on them and don't mind. let men put their hands on them and don't matter we just we talked about that earlier whatever you know we just said it's a mental thing it's psychological you know what i'm saying situation or whatever manipulation men fucking ain't mad you know no self-esteem don't want to be alone scared to leave and all that basically yeah i got it <laughs> thanks i got it like now nah, I can't do him like that. Talking about some me, cause I know that ain't his character. But yeah, I know, I know what he meant. Let's see. Not true. Some men just greedy, selfish, and horny for anything in the streets. You know everybody different, so they gotta test the waters. Let me see. Marquita say thoughts have no self love or self respect. That's what they don't have, and a wife does have at least. I hope. Let me see. They don't love themselves. Why don't women let me beat on them and stay with them? I got it. I got it, Tommy. Yeah, but manipulation. Fucking they mad, scared to leave, don't want to be lonely, all that. Let's see. Let me see. Okay, these thoughts playing an extra role because they trying to take the wife's place. Yeah, the wife might not might be slacking, but that's the, something that the wife got to take care of. The kids, the house, the men. But these thoughts over there for sex. And let's see. Giving him the attention the wife ain't giving them at the time. The wife can't give them all that time because they, they too busy. Y'all got the wife at home being a little homemaker or whatever. The wife cooking, cleaning, taking care of your kids, running the house and all that. They too busy. How about your ass help out and you won't have to have a sad chick. Okay, so I got another question, y'all. Why is it so hard for men to admit to their guys that they don't have it? Why is that so hard? Like if you fall off, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever the situation may be. If you fall off, you done fell off. If you fall off, try again. Get back up. Why is it so hard for y'all to admit to y'all guys that y'all done fell off a little bit? It's the ego thing. I guess so. It's a pride thing. But why, but why you mad, though? That's your life. That's your life or whatever. Why you mad about your life? Yes, yeah, the pride thing. What is the purpose of getting married if you're going to act like you're single? Hello, a title. Let's see. They are not around for free, so take the money home to your wife. <laughs> And you talk to your wife. Hell, I know that's right. Ego. And if they're your guy, they'll understand it's hard times, right? What's up, Gwendolyn? Wife don't have to slack. The wife can do everything. And the ninja still dirty. Yep. Do everything. Be at home slave and taking care of everything in your ass. Still cheating. People got a good and still cheating. That's where the term having your cake and eating it too come from. Shit like that.
Okay, y'all, I got a real personal question. Y'all ready for this? Don't be scared. I keep it real. Y'all keep it real. So let's go. Next question. What's the nastiest thing you ever done doing sets? Man, I just went through that. I hope it turned out well for you. It's rough. So what's the nastiest thing y'all ever done doing sets? I feel like I need a flow stick. These grapes all through my braces. These men want to do what they want. Wait, these men want to do what they homies doing. Mm-hmm. Shantae, what is that? What is that? What is the nastiest thing y'all ever done doing sets? What's the nastiest thing you can do doing sets anyway? Let me see. I say, yes, I agree. A wife will do everything she can and a ninja going to do what they do. Haven't y'all seen Tyler Perry, Diary of a Mad Black Woman? <laughs> I know that's right, and they're going to always want you back. You can't have me back. I'm going to do the same thing she did in that movie. Shantae said, define nasty. Nasty means nastiest. Okay, stop trying to get around the question. What's the nastiest thing you ever done doing sets? Nasty, nasty. God, they all need a flow stick, y'all. What you call nasty? Hmm. Whatever you call nasty. Shay said, kiss his ass after he came in my mouth. Left out loud, we sharing everything. Well, taste yourself, shit. <laughs> taste yourself, girl. Let a man eat you on your monthly. That better be your husband, baby. That's love right there, ain't it? Because he can go out anywhere and get it done. And do what I mean. But to do it while you on your monthly, girl, that man love you. I don't want to know that. I'm steady eating these grapes and they all through my braces. I can't eat nothing with these things on. That's why I lost 11 pounds, y'all. That's love. Y'all in love. You and Shay in love. Woo, y'all got that good love. Anybody else want to answer that question before I give me some Z's? Okay, so I'm going to pick one thing out of the game. Y'all know we do the games with the mask on and mask off. I'm going to pick one thing up out of this for us to do tonight before we end it. Before we end it. I'm going to pick one thing, y'all. The question, Angel, was what is the nastiest thing you ever done doing sets? Tommy say too nasty for me. Dirtiest was never mind. I can't share that. I'm going to embarrass myself. <laughs> you can't embarrass yourself. You did it. That was your choice. So don't be regret for whatever you did well you ain't say you regretted it you said you would be embarrassed don't be embarrassed by your actions but if you choose to keep it to yourself you can do that i ain't just said all oh, i passed i would hope that you would pass with your brother on here too <laughs> he don't want to know that okay y'all i picked one Oh, I can't pick that one. Oh, that's nasty. Now, that is nasty. Let me see if I can find one for the guy on here. Because that was for a girl. Yes, I pass. Ooh. How many people ever slept with they, one of their spouse? Wait, how many people ever slept, slept with their spouse family member? 
one of their family members. Have you ever slept with your man, cousin, or brother? Have you ever slept with your woman, cousin, or sister, or mama, or auntie? So, have you ever screwed your partner family member? Don't be sorry. Be careful. Be honest. Tell the truth. God sees everything. He will step in and rescue you. <laughs> Hell no, never. Will that sound crazy? Yeah, but they do that shit. Cuz said, don't answer that shit if y'all are still together. Okay, look. I said, don't be sorry. Be careful. Shante said, oh, hell no. I will not be on here talking to you right now. Hell yeah, she done killed you. Thumbs down. Okay, so this one for the ladies. That was for both of them. I'm trying to pull one just for the guys or whatever. Because that was a vice versa question. Let me see. Man, this is hard, y'all. This is hard. Oh, this is hard, fellas. Talk about some okay, Jerry Springer. <laughs> right. Yes, I did. And working on the nets, bro. Ah, I know that's right, Gwen. Said. Well, I don't know that's right, but. Yes, I'm here for your honesty. I'm living for your honesty. Gwen said, yes, I did. And I'm working on the next brother. Do your thing. Do your thing. So, thumbs up if it's a yes. Thumbs down if it's not. If it's a no. Sucking more than one, sucking more than one penis at the same time. Ladies. Ladies, have you sucked more than one penis at the same time? Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. So that's going to be the last question. And we're going to end it. So if y'all can come up with anything, like every Friday, this is what we're going to do for the game. Nope, thumbs down. What's up, Jasmine? This is what we're going to do. We're going to try to get real over here every Friday. If y'all want him to get on the game again, y'all know the comment team real. And we're going to play this. I'm trying to come up with something different, you know. But we're going to stick with the mask on, mask off. Come up with a couple different quotes or whatever. You know, and every Friday he'll be here to play the game. But if y'all come up with some questions that y'all want answered or y'all just want to talk about and see what other people have to say feel free to inbox me if you don't feel like typing hit that microphone send me a voice message and i will write it down it does not matter how many questions you have i think this is so dope that we can talk to each other as adults because like i said before you know what I'm saying? We wouldn't just sit around. We all don't hang out. You know what I'm saying? So to be on here and be able to talk is cool. So whatever y'all want to talk about, just inbox me. Please subscribe to the YouTube page. The link is above. It'll take you right to our page. We will be going live from YouTube tomorrow. So follow us over there. If it don't work out, we will be back here. We got new things coming up. Thank y'all for rocking with us. We really appreciate it. So sorry that my sister is sick, but we can't do anything about that. Hopefully, she'll be better tomorrow and she'll be back on here. I love you all. Good night. God bless. Let's see. Coco, I want to know, why is it always that one hater who dislike your move from Chicago? Because that's where they from. I don't know. That's on them. That's where they from. Y'all two different people. You know what I'm saying? So... It is what it is. If you, I mean, why, why hate on somebody move from Chicago? You love Chicago or whatever. You go your ass back if you left or if you did not leave. You stay in Chicago. Good night. God bless. Stay wrapped in the blood of Jesus. We will see each other tomorrow.